senile dementia. But she lost any memory of who any of us were and how, how to function. And I would go to visit her and I would sing. And I would sing the songs that she sang to me when I was a little girl. And it was like the clouds parted briefly. Mm. And, and I, in fact, I, I sang her a, a song one time and she just kind of, it was like she opened her eyes and she mm. goes, oh, I used to clean you. Wow. Aww. And then she just kind of drifted back into her cloudy mm. mindset. But, um, you know, I just really enjoyed it so much that I ended up uh, visiting a number of, of seniors' homes. And then recently, a few years ago, I got involved with um, a group uh, that operates out of the, it's called a Health and Arts Organization, uh, healthandarts.org, if I, if I remember right, and, and the, sub, the subgroup is called um, Artsway. And what they do is they bring professional musicians into seniors' homes, psych wards, um, mental hospitals, uh, prisons, and uh, so, and I've done all of those. I've sung at the psych ward at UBC and the psych ward at, um, at Vancouver General. I sung, I've sung at Colony Farms for the criminally insane, and you know, just some really amazing experiences in in all of those places. And I just find it so. There's almost every time there's some kind of breakthrough and some kind of connection made that that I just can't that you just can't get any any other way. It's really rewarding. I, and my favorite my favorite ways to to, to perform these days. Music was quite um, amazing. Um, in 2006, I was diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder, which is schizophrenic and bipolar. And um, it was before I was hospitalized. I would, you know, I'd be at home and I'd feel really depressed and just really upset about everything. And I would lay on the ground. And I wouldn't be able to do anything and move. And then I'd turn the radio on and I'd just hear that one song. And I'd get up and I would start dancing and dancing and dancing and I'm thinking this is what I needed. This song is what I needed to get back to get better. And I said, I can do life now, I can do this now. And then the song would go off and it would finish. And I'd be right back to square one again, like, Oh, I can't do anything. Yeah. I I had a similar experience. Actually, um, in two thousand two I, I went off a cliff in my truck. Not on purpose. Um, but I I, I came out of it almost unhurt. It just had little bruises down one side, and the, the truck had ended up halfway down a. It was up in in between Boston Bar and Lytton on, on the, in the Fraser Canyon, and I ended up hanging on a tree in in the truck, um, just mid sort of, sort of mid air, and my dog and and I managed to get out and climb up the scree and get to the top, and I was post traumatic stress big time, and I I was just a basket case, and I have to say that that music was, I, I, I walked and I danced, and I would, I always, always listened to Carly Simon, Life is Eternal, I'll sing it later, because that was, that was my, that was my saving song. Mm -hmm. It's pretty amazing. Wow. 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 And how was your dog? She was also completely unhurt. Um, she had always sat in the, in the wheel well of the passenger side, and it was kind of, in, in a lot of ways, she was what, kept me from kind of losing it in the in the moment because I immediately focused on making it a game for her and not a scary thing. So when I kicked my way out of the back of the, of the vehicle, um, I couldn't get the passenger doors open. I would, uh, the truck was on its side and I, I just kicked the, it was on like a little SUV and I kicked the back the back end open and I got her out. And, and a little we dog? She's a small border collie. Okay. Was, she, um, she had just passed away this, this oh, summer. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, at 16. Oh, she had a good. good long wow. life, yeah. My hope my uh, board collar lives that long. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She, was, she was a sweet old girl. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and we managed to get to the top, and, and uh, yeah, pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. So we've got Claire Brett here, and we're talking about music therapy, but we are going to take a quick break, and we're going to do a couple public service